guys welcome back to another video if you are already a part of the rose fam just know i truly love and appreciate your support and i did see some new subscribers so thank you so much for joining the fam if you are just passing through and clicked on this video i hope that you will decide to stick around hit that subscribe button turn on your notification bell so that you know when i upload a video also drop a like for your girl and i love to see you guys' comments thank you so much for those who commented commented on when they took their tree down and just the interaction i love that so guys let's keep it going anyway today we're going to be doing a really deep clean of our master bathroom as well as uh, i guess a kind of a surface clean in the living room and the kitchen so i hope you guys enjoy and i'll talk to you in a bit you brought this on us and you don't know how deep it cuts No, you don't know how much it hurts You can't hold on Guys, there's so many hidden places in a shower. It's crazy you got in the grooves of the shower doors. And for some reason, no matter how hard you scrub, these when they have, I don't know what you call these built-ins, but I do not like them. It's what came with the house. We didn't really get the option to like upgrade it, but they always seem to get a ring. You can bleach it, you can scrub it or whatever. But um, anyway, I am just going to give this a good scrub with some Ajax and then I will eventually just spray it with a soft scrub bleach and just let that sit in it. But that is one of the projects in the coming, I, you know what, I don't know when it's coming, but it is coming. We do want to redo the shower. Now, I don't know if we'll tear the whole thing out, but it's definitely going to be some upgrading going on with the shower. Okay, I have a question for you fam. What do you guys use to keep your shower doors clean? Do you just spray it with like Windex? Do you scrub it first? Do you use a squeegee? What do you guys use to keep that, I guess, soap scum or whatever it is that builds up on that shower, which you seem to have to do every single day? What do you guys use on it? I mean, I just scrub mine and then go back with like a Windex or whatever, but it just gets dirty right away, but um, let me know what you guys use.
I'm sorry y'all I probably went a little hard with the water filming it but it just always relaxes me to see running water I don't know what it is but I hope you guys enjoy it as well Now, Rose fam, y'all know this is my favorite part. I am obsessed with cleaning toilets. Call me what you may, but my toilets is clean, y'all. Okay, fam, so the next present that I get for myself is going to be a steam mop. I have seen it so many times and I just feel like it would work so well. Alright fam, not going to do too much in here. Going to get the mirrors wiped down, a quick dust on both the nightstands and a little bit on the dresser. The dresser is a project that I'm currently working on. Um, I need to finish getting it sanded so that I can paint it and then we're going to custom build some nightstands. So lots of projects coming up. Can you guys see those little lights on the dresser? That was one of my favorite finds. I think I got them at Marshalls or Ross. I was so in love with them when I saw them.
Okay fam, time to give the family room a little once over. I just did a pretty thorough job when I took Jack down, but I still had some sequins and little shiny speckles on some parts of the cushion. So here in just a moment, I'm going to grab my little hand back and try to vacuum the seats off just a little bit. I don't typically have to like vacuum under the cushions that often because when I do a thorough clean and we don't really eat things that are crummy and stuff like that on the couch but if you are a couch eater or have kids that walk around with crumbs you definitely want to hit underneath there and deep in those pockets because stuff loves to hide there. In case any of you guys are interested, the vacuum that I'm using here is a Sharp. And this, I guys, this, this vacuum is amazing. It's literally the only one that's been able to stand up to me because I tend to vacuum my entire house every single day. I've had a Dyson that conked out on me. I've had Hoovers that conked out. I've had Bissels that conked out. But this shark right here is amazing. So if you want any information on this vacuum, just let me know. Okay guys, true confession, since I've started doing YouTube and I can do cleaning videos, I have enjoyed leaving my Tupperware in the refrigerator. Not that I didn't do it before, but I used to feel guilty. But now that I can leave it in and do a cleaning video, man, I take full advantage of that. Hey Rose fam, if you are new to this channel or have been here and haven't gotten a chance to check it out, I'm going to try and link it in the description below. I did a really thorough clean of this refrigerator, so it was a pretty amazing video. So if you get a chance, um, make sure you check that out. There's so many hidden spaces in a refrigerator that you wouldn't believe.
right, so here I am really going ahead and putting some of the things in the dishwasher. Uh, the pots and stuff like that, I'm going to hand wash, but the other items that the Tupperware I took out of the fridge, I'm putting those in the dishwasher. Alright guys, thank you so much. If you made it this far in the video, be sure and hit a like for me. I truly appreciate it and I appreciate you. Thanks for hanging in there with me and I will see you on the next video.